Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here with some more random buys from Goodwill. Uh, I got three this time, and I'm a little salty because it would have been four on the fourth one, which actually looked like the most promising one, of course. My internet crapped out, and I actually was not able to put in my bid at the last second like I try to do. And someone else ended up with it, so we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, for now, let's take a look at what I am going to get. Uh, all told, I got three lots for about 380 bucks. The Goodwill of Olympics and Rainier was offering penny shipping on all of these, so I didn't have to pay any extra for that. So that's kind of nice. So this one here does not look too out of the craziness factor. You got a sliver here that's always interesting, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, I might break these up into different videos as well. I'm not sure yet. Um, second box for a hundred bucks. Uh, one of these boxes looked better than the other. This one doesn't look like it's really that interesting. Um, the other box did look like it had some morning tide uh, rares at least, so we'll be looking for uh, hopefully some good cards from that era in there and that's about all you know about that. Uh, third box that I got uh, looks like the one that I'm pretty much the most interested in. There does look like some older stuff, a couple of revised um, tournament deck boxes which are hopefully not empty and hopefully have some good stuff in there. There's a little clamshell case there that might have some goods and then this sec second box actually is probably newer stuff so they've kind of thrown some things together. And then we'll take a look at the one that got away. Uh, this one was not one by me. It's one by E asterisk M uh, for 601 bucks. I was prepared to go higher and I tried and I failed and that's how it goes sometimes. So what did EM get? Um, about a thousand cards um, that looked like they were sleeved up that might have been the goods from just someone's collection. So Academy Ruins, some Staff of Domination, possibly a foil gauntlet of power right there. That would have been really nice. Uh, I wanted this one and just didn't want it bad enough, obviously. So if, if you're out there, EM, I'd love to know what you got in this box. Um, drop me a line. Drop, let's, let's see a video. Come on, what's in there? We all want to see it. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go about opening my other... Um, second, third, and fourth place uh, auctions here, and we'll see what we get. Okay. Got a box from the shipping department of Goodwill in Tacoma, Washington. Let's see what's in it. Some of this other stuff. All right, I'm gonna do a little peek into this one. It just looks like the older box and see if there's anything to write home about. That is the thickest card case I've ever seen to put a Fallen Empires card into. That's pretty funny, honestly. And a wall of water and a giant shark. And a stone rain is not looking too promising here. Um, looks like it might be not too amazing and this doesn't have anything in it so that's our super bummer yep well there's some cards in this box let's take a look now oh, i got a rack thomas of one straight arrows jade monolith doesn't look like apocalypse chime nothing too crazy though some Urza's lands and stronghold. Well, may not be anything super good, so I'm going to go through this properly and hopefully find something that's worth my while. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm ready to start scanning this lot up. Um, hopefully, it will get me up to about 380 bucks. Rainstorm is 89 cents and it so it doesn't quite make the 90 cent pile which is what uh, is going to stay on the list uh, to count towards my total. Hydroblast might do it. There's a buck. 
So there's the buck pile. Here we go. Nothing. Mystic Remora, a couple of those. Those are pretty decent. It's okay. Hey, Merchant Scroll. There we go. So. That's pickable for sure. Four bucks there, so. Don't know all of them. Hey, Fast Bond, that's a good one. You may put as many lands into play as you want each turn. That seems super broken, right? Um, 14.82. Whoops. There it is. 14.82. Uh, that's a good pick right there. Revised fast bond. I'm I'm guessing this is super restricted in the old formats because otherwise it would be hundred bucks, right? Birds of Paradise. Okay, so there is a little bit of uh, decent stuff left in here. It's a fourth edition birds. Fourth edition BOP 2 Chronicles Ashnod's Altars are uh, almost 5 bucks each, so that's pretty decent. Alright, next up we got this beat up box here, and let's see what's going on here. Okay, we got rares at least. Ah, okay, so there are some good stuff in here. Let's get going. Eladamri's call. 449. Be anything. Wrath of God. There we go. And a worship. There we go. These are played like obviously they were played without sleeves, but they're still gonna be okay. Worship five bucks there. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Alright, that'd be nice if this whole box was full of rares. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Foil, look at player rewards, Day of Judgment. Let's see how that turns out. Yeah, promo, just a, like five bucks each. That's solid though. Two of those. Uh, Harmonize, full art, promo. Two, ooh, got Liliana. So a couple of those. Liliana of the Dark Realms, M13. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Eleven ninety nine for Lily. Okay, all right, we're doing okay. Ninth edition, four bucks. Two, three of those. Dark car wastes. Very nice. Six bucks. Battlefield Forge. Defense Grid, I think, is a good card. Yeah, there we go. Storage Matrix. $4. Okay, well, we hit some of the goods here. Nothing super high-end yet. 
May not be anything. Oh, well, there we go. Life from the loam and a grave troll. So that's very nice. They've come back down a bit. Let's see. Just got a reprint. They go up and down as Dredge goes in and out of favor, I think. But there it is. And this one is banned anyway, so it's come back down. But there copy enchantment whoa there we go ten bucks for a copy enchantment it probably does exactly what it says it does right and there's another one great seven fifty five for a foil circuit Oh, a watery grave, awesome. But a watery grave, an original Ravnica, eh, light play. Um, I don't think it's going to hit medium play. 22.48, so there's the current big winner right there, great. Um, Moralin, elf wizard, legendary. Must be a commander card. Players can't draw cards. That's uncool. But for six bucks, I'll take it. Primal Beyond. I think I like that card. Uh, as it comes into play, you may reveal an elemental card. Oh, elementals, right? Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Only on elementals. So that's coming back around. Ten bucks there. Great. Branches, I know that's nothing. Cream of the crop. Oh, an escape shift. So 450 for cream of the crop, an escape shift, which of course got reprinted, but it's still pretty solid. 1799. So I'm very glad to see that they didn't um, pick this at all. Um, it, it was just as is found apparently. Um, someone's whole giant box of rares here with some good stuff in it. Lightning Crafter. Five bucks, okay. That's the five buck pile now, Sensation Gorger. A couple bucks here, it's really adding up. So, minus all of the cards that I scanned that were under 90 cents, we've probably just, we've broken even now, I would say at this point. So, two thumbs up for this box, especially. Wow, a foil Torian Mauler is 20 bucks. Changeling, whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may put a 1 1 counter on Torian Mauler. Wow, and throw it into pretty much any tribe and uh, let it just pump up. That's, a, that's awesome. That's a good one right there. Another watery grave, great. Uh, let's see, watery grave. Let's see it through the sleeve. But being, so there's another twenty dollar card right there. And oh, and another one, awesome. All right, so someone had a deck that they basically took apart right here. But being, there we go. Is there another one? <laughs> Privileged position. Wow. So we had a. And a Temple Garden, so we've got a Selesnya deck going on here too. Awesome. So, Privileged Position, yep, almost 10 bucks there. And a Tulsimer. Couple bucks. And a Temple Garden. Great. $14.59. I just noticed my Privileged Position is the wrong one. It's pretty much the same. This guy is having an issue, that's for sure. Yeah, 696 right there, perfect. Megas of the Tabernacle. 
Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen this card. Let's see what a regular one is. That's a buck. And a foil. 688, great. Nope. Oh my god, yes! We went from Planar Chaos to Avacyn and picked the best, well, second, third best card out of Avacyn Reborn. Or restored. Oh my god, that's awesome. 60 bucks for a Cavern of Souls. Yeah, okay, I was not expecting to find something like that in here. We really jumped through time to get to this. What else do we got here, Avacyn? Okay, Gloom Surgeon, I'm pretty sure is bulk. Same for this, Revenge of the Hunted. And then back to Guild Pact with the Godless Shrine. But a Godless Shrine, but being 17 bucks. There we go. No, <laughs> he threw a fish at his head. That's unfortunate. Nope, nothing there. Wow, okay. Oh, I'm stoked. Oh, look what just came out of there. Oh my god, when I saw Morning Tide in the listing, I was hopeful, maybe, that I'd see this card. But I wasn't that hopeful. Dude, that's awesome. Alright. OG Bitter Blossom. Got a little bit of a pick spot right there. But for 40 bucks, I will put this back in a sleeve, I think. Bitter Blossom. Cavern of Souls. Very, very nice picks. A little better about this. Man, I want, really want to know what was in that other box that I missed out on because it looked like the good stuff. Shared Animosity. Well, okay, hold on a second. Would be 697, but that has got a big problem with it. That looks like. Someone dropped their milkshake on it and then threw it on the ground, so no one's going to want this card, I don't think, unless I can clean it up somehow. And so, okay, so here's an actual good shared animosity that doesn't have a loogie on it, so that's good to know. I'll, uh, I'll just leave one scanned. Cavalier, actually is pretty good since knights are big right now so 10 bucks for a knight double striker guy stone here giant very nice eight bucks exemplar sigil tree oh ho, 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 ho. they really left me some goodies here that's awesome 483 for the tracer. Two Vendillion clicks. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Bing, bing. 21 each. And some harmonizes and an herbal organ of damnation. Yes. Urborg Tomb of Yagmoth, twenty dollars. Damnation, thirty bucks. Perfectly good condition too. Halfway through this box, this has been been a heck of a box right now so it's into shadow more now dire undercurrents very nice 1049 fulminator mage been reprinted come down but still a little bit boon reflection there we go 987 
Void Slime should be a little bit. Yeah, four bucks there. Infernal Tutor. Does some stuff right there. Twelve bucks. Four ninety-eight. Proclamation of Rebirth. Five bucks. Oh my god, another one? So two bitter blossoms is uh, nice to have. More cards. Whoa, there we go. Uh, everything I'm pulling out of here is pretty decent. Hero Blade Hold with the uh, nice uh, alternate pre release art. Five bucks each on those. Put them there. Another war caller says so someone had an elf deck and they had a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay, boy, I wonder if they got any of the the uh, equipment that goes with her. Let's see, Stoneforge Mystic must have gotten unbanned. I'm pretty sure it did because it has gone back up. Forty-four, sixty-four. Love the art. That's like just one of the coolest pieces of art. Well, this one's pretty good too, right? So, anyway, back to scanning. A morphling. Wow. So, we got some Urza Saga here. Just out of the blue, huh? 899. That's a reserve list card. Well, we're doing pretty good here. How about a door of destinies? Yeah, why not? Seven fifty-five. Couple bucks, dark steel plate. Six bucks, one, two of those. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, five bucks. One, two, three, four of those. Great. Wow. Idyllic Tutor, 3175. Search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your library. So that's a uh, modern, playable, enlightened tutor. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, there we go. Um, Soul Conduit, no. Surgical Extraction, yes. 22 bucks. Um, <clears throat> 23 for the new Phyrexia version. Two of those. Great. These uh, have been up and down, I think, over the last year. Life's Finale. Oh, and an Obliterator, great. In Foil. Oops. Yeah, 456 for the foil. Phyrexian Obliterator. Yeah, very nice. So, different version. 1921. Wow, this is great. Birthing Pot is 977. That's great. Trying for the hordes. Get some decent stuff here. Here's Steel Paladin, 1574. Whenever an equipment enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Ah, uh, and equipment you control have equipped zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. Yeah, very, very good. And a foil Marilyn of the Morn song. But being. Wow, the foil version is $20. Two from Conflux. Path to Exile. Magister Sphinx. Very nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. 
Uh, I'll tell you, I don't think I've ever found one of these outside of an Ultimate Masters pack. So this is the first for me to find a Noble Hierarch in a random buy. There we go. Is she still up there? Definitely has come down from the heyday, I think, but at 35 bucks, that's a keeper. Font of Mythos, 989. There's a good one there. Shield Red, cool. New Phyrexia, 1750. Wow. And a Vorin Clex, great. Phyrexia Unlife, yep, 394. Vorin Clex, 1850. There we go. <laughs> and a Spell Skite. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is this is a hell of a box right here, let me tell you. Ah, I really think this was part of that other lot that got away. So, really should have bought that one, but my internet failed me. Anyway, enough whining. Next up, out of the box. Oh my god. Dude, Really? Not even in the sleeve. Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Yes. Yes. Yes! 118. Alright, let me get a sleeve. Say. So, hey. Basilisk Collar and Celestial Colonnades. Very nice. Very, very nice. One, two, three, four Celestial Colonnades. That is fantastic as well. Another one that got reprinted. So it's come down a lot. One, two, three, four of these. But uh, there they are. I'll take them. Oh my god. That is awesome. <laughs> you just never know. There's a chain reaction. Oh my god, three of these. There's three of them in here. Wow. That's so funny. I found three of these earlier this year, too. <laughs> well, there they go. Bing, bing. So, amazing in a font. Well, that was all that was left in that box. And we've almost hit two grand. So, yep. Very happy with this box. Okay, that last box was amazing. Um, I think I can already tell that this one may not be quite as good. Yeah. This seems to be in quite a different category, I think, than the last stuff. But I think I'm okay with it since the last stuff was so good. Scan Omnath. Seven bucks, not too bad right there. Introduct stuff, super bulk rares. Oh, Avacyn the Purifier on the back of Avacyn Archangel. Wow, really nine bucks? Very cool, so uh, Pioneer is having an effect on that card for sure. Mesmeric Sliver. Ooh, Arkham Dexon. Very cool. So there is some goods in here. Cold Snap. Commander. 21 bucks. Very cool. Put him right there. Oh, 
that one is trash. Luckily, this umbral mantle didn't get the same problem as the other ones did, because this one's a pretty good card. Yeah, wow, 849 for an uncommon necrotic sliver. I remember seeing, I think, this batch in the, the listing, so I'm glad to see that there's some good stuff in this section. Big flooded strand. Oh, unfortunately, this one has got some serious problems. Um, yeah, it's got that crease. You could probably feel that through a sleeve. So that's going to be damaged. But it looks good on paper, right? <laughs> 1895. I'm going to take it off. But there it was, and we'll show it off. That's unfortunate. Daybreak Cornet, another great card. Very happy to see this. Um, again, got reprinted and it's come down a bit, but that's a good one, love that card. Foil Snow Covered Mountain. 1207. It's not in perfect condition, but there it is. Magus of the Moon. All right. There's a good one. Breed of Fire. Well, that's a good one to leave behind. Excellent. Very, very cool. Almost free mana is nice to have, so that's a good one there. Cool. Graven Cairns. Yeah, five bucks there. Drawhead Arbor. Well, that's solid. Very good. And a devoted druid. Yeah, where, there you go. 13 bucks for a land creature. Devoted druid is a little bit too. There we go. Heartwood Storyteller. Whenever a player plays a non creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. 621, very nice. Okay, last thing in the collection is this future site uh, precon deck, which that's that's what it looks like it is. Is there anything good in here? I got a Baru. He's 86 cents. Don't know what else in, would be good in here. Wow, well, there you go. Another Dryad Arbor. Is very nice to have. An intimidator. Well, that's going to do it for this collection. Let me pull all of the cards that are under 90 cents off and see what the true total is here. Coming right up. Well, there you have it. I ended up with quite a slam dunk this time. Almost all of the good stuff you see here was found in that one box that seemed like it was part of the collection that I missed on the other lot uh, that had two boxes. 
uh, that seem to have some very similar kind of stuff, like really good stuff in some sleeves. Uh, so if you're out there and you bought that lot, please let me know what you got. Let us know what you got. We're dying to know. Post a video. I think that uh, it was probably a lot of good stuff, so I'm kicking myself for missing it. Congratulations, you ever got it. Um, I ended up with some pretty decent stuff, so nice consolation prize. Jason Mind Sculptors, Dillian Click, Stoneforge Mystic, Two Bitter Blossoms, Noble Hierarch, the first I've found outside of an Ultimate Masters pack, Cavern of Souls, Scape Shift, Shocklands, Surgical Extractions, it was pretty good. So, uh, all told, paid 380 for the lot, for three lots, and ended up with uh, $2,143 in TCG mid value here quite a good buy in my estimation I appreciate you coming by to watch and hang out with me make sure to give me a like check out my other videos and stay tuned for more thank you